In the modern digital age, the ability to transfer files wirelessly has become one of the most essential aspects of our daily tech usage. Technologies like Bluetooth and AirDrop have emerged as the heroes of wireless file sharing. While Bluetooth has been around for decades and is still found on almost every smartphone, laptop, and even household gadgets, AirDrop is a relatively newer innovation from Apple that takes a more seamless approach. So, which one is better? In this video, let's break it down and take a closer look at the real differences between AirDrop and Bluetooth, right here on History of Simple Things. Bluetooth is one of the oldest wireless communication technologies that we still use today. It was first introduced in the late 1990s, named after a Viking king, Harold Bluetooth Germson, who was known for uniting different tribes in Denmark. Similarly, the technology was designed to unite different types of devices under a universal standard. Almost every modern gadget, from smartphones and laptops to smart TVs, wireless earbuds, gaming controllers, and even medical equipment, supports Bluetooth. The technology works by using short-range radio waves to connect devices within a limited range. Because it's a universal standard, Bluetooth allows users to transfer files, stream audio, and connect to peripherals without the need for wires. AirDrop, on the other hand, is Apple's take on fast and simple wireless file sharing. It was introduced in 2011, and unlike Bluetooth, which was meant for a wide range of uses, AirDrop focuses primarily on file transfers. The way it works is quite interesting. AirDrop combines two wireless technologies, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is used to establish the initial connection between devices, while Wi-Fi is used to transfer the actual files. This combination allows AirDrop to achieve much faster speeds than traditional Bluetooth file transfers. For Apple users, AirDrop feels almost magical. You select the file, tap Share, and within seconds it appears on the recipient's device without cables, third-party apps, or complicated setup. One of the biggest factors when comparing AirDrop and Bluetooth is speed. Bluetooth transfers files at speeds that range between 1 megabit per second to around 3 megabits per second for the newer versions. And even though Bluetooth 5.0 and later versions have improved data transfer capabilities, it still pales in comparison to what AirDrop can achieve. Because AirDrop uses Wi-Fi to move data, File transfers can reach speeds up to 20 megabits per second or even higher. This means that a large video file that might take several minutes to transfer via Bluetooth could be completed in just seconds with AirDrop. For people who often share high-resolution images, long videos, or big documents, this speed advantage makes AirDrop the clear winner. However, Speed isn't the only factor. When it comes to compatibility, Bluetooth takes the lead. Almost every modern electronic device, regardless of brand or operating system, supports Bluetooth. Whether you are using an iPhone, an Android smartphone, a Windows laptop, or even a basic feature phone, chances are it has Bluetooth. AirDrop, in contrast, is limited to Apple's ecosystem. You can only use it if you have an iPhone, iPad, or Mac computer, and it will only work when transferring between these devices. This exclusivity can be a drawback, especially in mixed device households or workplaces where people use a variety of brands. For example, if you have an iPhone and want to send a file to your friend's Samsung device, AirDrop won't help you. You'll have to fall back on Bluetooth, email, or another third-party app. When it comes to user experience, AirDrop has the edge. Bluetooth connections sometimes require multiple steps. Turning on Bluetooth, 
making your device discoverable, pairing devices, entering confirmation codes, and then initiating the transfer. While this process has improved over the years, it can still feel tedious. AirDrop simplifies this entire process. As long as both devices are nearby and AirDrop is enabled, the sender simply selects the file, taps the AirDrop option, and chooses the recipient. There's no need for manual pairing, codes, or additional confirmation. This level of simplicity is one of the reasons Apple users love AirDrop so much. It just works. Range is another area where differences show. Bluetooth typically works within a range of about 10 meters, though newer versions can stretch this up to 30 meters in ideal conditions. AirDrop, however, uses both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which gives it a slightly wider and more reliable range, often extending up to around 30 feet or more. Because it relies on Wi-Fi for the heavy lifting, AirDrop tends to be more stable when transferring larger files, while Bluetooth connections may sometimes fail midway, forcing users to restart the transfer. So when should you use Bluetooth and when should you use AirDrop? The answer depends largely on your devices and needs. If you're an Apple user, AirDrop is the obvious choice for quick and secure sharing of photos, videos, and documents between Apple devices. It's perfect for situations like group projects, family events, or business meetings where everyone has iPhones or Macs. On the other hand, Bluetooth is the universal workhorse that shines when you need to connect across different platforms. It's the go-to solution for sending small files to Android phones, connecting wireless accessories, or transferring data when Wi-Fi isn't available. In many ways, Bluetooth's strength lies in its universality, while AirDrop's strength lies in its speed and ease of use. One thing is certain, both technologies have transformed the way we share and connect, making our digital lives simpler and more efficient. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.